What is up, investors? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Crypto, where we talk about everything related to the crypto markets, including the latest and most important news, deep dives on projects we see as having huge potential in the future, as well as technical analysis on all coins featured on the channel. Please remember, as always, that nothing on this channel is financial advice, but rather my own thoughts, opinions, and research, which I have compiled into a more digestible format for you, the viewer, to listen to and understand. And if you do appreciate the content on this channel, please go ahead and uh, just consider hitting that sub and like button. For those of you who have been with the channel for a while, you know that everything you see on this channel is what you get. I have no paid Patreon, no paid Discord, in which I try to milk more money from my viewers, okay? I offer everything on this channel for free, and all I ask in return is that if you do enjoy the channel, if I did teach you something or just help give you a little bit of a different perspective on the market, uh, to just consider supporting me by hitting that sub and a like button, and I do love and appreciate all of you that have done so, so far, okay? So thank you all for the support. Thank you for the comments. They do not go unnoticed. So we are back today with another video on CrowCoin. It is our favorite project on this channel, and usually we are in a much better mood when talking about Crow, but unfortunately, uh, the piece of news that we got today was actually not positive. It's actually a little bit more negative than positive. However, we are here to bring you all the news in an unbiased manner, and that means we talk about the good, and that also means we talk about the bad. So we are going to just get right into these changes causing so much upset, okay? So they start off by saying, introducing changes to crypto earn, new tiered rates structure, and higher rewards for select tokens. Um, you probably should have also mentioned that you lowered the rewards for select tokens, but regardless. So what are the changes? So what they have now done is they have actually uh, broken it up into two tiers by allocation quota, okay? So basically, um, for anybody who has up to or exactly 30,000 USD allocated into crypto earn, you will be receiving tier one rates. And for anything above 30,000 locked in crypto earn, you will be receiving tier two rates. And we're going to talk about what these tier two rates mean um, in the Google Jamboard as we have broken it down. Okay. And then they do give um, the changes for select tokens, including the higher rewards for ETH, uh, DOT, and MATIC for select terms. Okay. So we're going to move on over here to the Google Jamboard and just get right into the information. So first of all, new tier system, as we've already discussed, tier one is a total value lock of anything under or equivalent to 30K USD, okay? And in this case, you will be receiving 100% of your rewards. However, anything over $30,000 uh, total value locked into crypto earn, you are only going to be receiving 50% of your rewards, okay? And they pretty much have a chart here on the right side that does break this down, but it's kind of confusing. So we just broke it down in a much uh, simpler manner. So example number one, you have 30,000 American worth of ETH locked in crypto earn. You are now getting 7% on that Ethereum, okay? And then uh, on the flip side, let's say you got a little greedy and you put an extra thousand in there. So you now have 31,000 USD worth of ETH locked in crypto earn. Well, now you're only getting three and a half percent because you have actually gone ahead and went over that 30,000 USD uh, allocation quota to receive tier one rewards. So effectively, anything over 30,000 American in total value locked, your rewards are being cut in half. And I mean, this is the first negative that has really, really irked a lot of people, myself included, right? Because what it basically means now is crypto earn is only good for up to 30 grand American and anything beyond that you are going to need to start looking at other platforms unless you want your rewards cut in half and I don't know anyone who likes the rewards being cut in half so if you can find someone who likes that and they would like to explain the logic to me please direct them my way but I don't know anyone who wants to have the rewards cut in half okay now for example number two and this is the more I guess realistic example and what we're demonstrating here is that in pool number one, so let's say you have in total 31,000 American worth of ETH. Let's say in the first pool, you stake 20,000 USD worth of Ethereum and crypto earn. You're going to be getting 7% on this 20,000, okay? And then you go ahead and you take this 11,000 USD worth of Ethereum and you put it in a, in a second pool in crypto earn. Well, you are only getting 3.5% on this pool now because your first pool of 20,000, Plus, your second pool of 11,000 American is going to give you 31,000 TVL 
in crypto earn which is uh, above the thirty thousand dollar quota however if you did go ahead and actually chop this eleven thousand down to ten thousand um then you would still be receiving the seven percent on this ethereum as you have met the thirty thousand dollar tier one requirement so basically all you need to understand from this new tier system is it doesn't matter how many pools you have all that matters is that you have 30,000 American uh, locked into crypto earn to receive these tier one rates and anything over 30,000 is uh, basically going to have the rewards cut in half and this goes by pool okay so that means that um, if you did have the 11,000 in this pool and for example number two like the original uh, example this three and a half percent would apply to all of pool two not just the one thousand dollars over but the entire pool okay so what we could actually do is we could say like this so if you were to go ahead and put ten thousand into that pool you would still be getting the seven percent and then in pool number three um, if you went ahead and put a thousand USD worth of ETH um, into crypto earn then you would only be getting the three and a half percent on this okay so basically um any pool that goes above that thirty thousand american the entire uh like net worth of that pool is subject to the slashed rates so that is the new tier system and um i mean again oh big big thing here crypto visa stake is not included okay this is only for crypto earn so guys please remember that your visa stake whatever it is whether you have four thousand locked up for the visa or forty thousand or four hundred thousand none of that is relevant to this your visa stake is still separately so um if you were at all concerned about this having any impact on your investment into the crypto visa um don't worry about that okay this is specifically pertaining to crypto earn and now um moving on to the old rates versus the new ones okay and i mean this is where i mean guys if you just line up the charts uh, you can clearly see that here when they say higher rewards for select tokens well that is true but um it's also not true in the same sense at all okay so first of all bitcoin was six and a half percent um uh previously it is still six and a half percent ethereum was six and a half percent and that is actually being buffed up to seven percent now as you can see okay so a 0.5 percent buff to ethereum rewards crow um was six percent and is still six percent uh again this is not too relevant for us because we do our crow staking in the DeFi wallet for 10 plus percent and um, if you do want more information on that do go ahead and check out the DeFi wallet video in the crow playlist um polka dot remains unchanged at 12 and a half percent matic however is actually up from 12 percent um to 12 and a half percent i i i accidentally put 12.5 there but matic was 12 percent as you can see here um on the crypto earn polygon 12 percent and you are now getting 12 and a half percent on that so a slight buff to matic rewards um solana still four and a half percent avax still six percent and really guys i mean the biggest negative um of this whole thing here is stable coins being neutered um down to 10 percent okay this used to be 12 percent guys uh under the old crypto.com terms this was 12 percent and it has now been slashed by two percent and if we look here because they have not updated their website yet you can see that um with four thousand uh crow stake or more in the visa that they were offering 12 percent on all these stable coins that is no longer the case okay and for me that is a huge huge negative right so if we actually go ahead and see what a difference that makes if we do go to crypto earn here and yes we already do have usdc locked up okay so previously if you had ten thousand usdc uh worth staked you would be earning twelve hundred dollars a year as it is twelve percent pa but since they have neutered it to 10 percent, you will now only be earning a thousand dollars a year with these new changes as compared to the 1200 um previously so i mean this is again i mean the two negatives here and the two biggest negatives are a this new tiered system which just seems absolutely ridiculous to me and b would actually be this complete neuter to stable coins okay as somebody who is um building out their stable coin allocation to be about 40 percent of my portfolio i was really um leaning on crypto earn for my stable coins and guys the truth is i honestly still will be because 10 percent is still impressive 
but of course it does suck to have 12 percent um offered to you for so long only to have it slashed by two percent right so i definitely do see the frustration there and um really we're gonna just uh give us some final thoughts on these changes and what does this mean okay so overall, this is a negative change to the crypto.com uh, crypto earn feature, okay? There's no denying that. I mean, if we outweigh the negatives, uh, the negatives are the new tier system and the neuter to stable coins. And really, the only positives here is a 0.5% increase to um, the amount of Matic that you can receive and a 0.5% increase to the amount of Ethereum that you can receive. But I mean, you have that uh, partnered up with a 2% slash to your stablecoin APY. And I mean, the negatives here for me just, just do greatly outweigh the positives. So overall, it was more of a negative change to the crypto earn feature. Um, but however, again, bullet point number two, you are still getting 10% on stable coins. And I mean, again, to go from 12% to 10% is obviously annoying, but you guys need to come at this from the perspective of if they had never offered this 12% and if they had offered this 10% from the beginning, this 10% would still be viewed as amazing, okay? Earning 10% on your stable coins uh, on basically a fiat currency is still something that not even traditional banks can offer you. And if you can find a bank offering you 10% a year on a savings account, then you should just not be watching this video because you have the best bank in the world. But I am probably most likely guaranteeing that you do not. And that's because these rates are not easy to come by. So, I mean, while it is obviously annoying to have it cut from 12% to 10%, um, I mean, guys, broader picture, earning 10% on up to 30,000 USD is still impressive. That is $3,000 a year in passive income, okay? Um, now, bullet point number three, if you are looking to stake 30,000 plus, the first 30,000 can still be left on crypto earn, right? Like you're still getting tier one rewards for anything on crypto earn that is under this under or equivalent to this 30k usd so if you are staking less than 30,000 or 30,000 american on the dot um, in your crypto earn then yes uh really you are unaffected by these changes um excluding obviously these rate changes here to the apy however if you are uh investing more than 30,000 in staking on crypto earn um, and again, this would obviously be up to, you know, like what coins you are holding on that platform, but you would um, possibly be better off moving them elsewhere to get full rewards. So for example, I mean, I don't know why you'd be doing this, but let's just say you were staking Cosmos and Crypto Earn for 3%. Well, what you would do is if you want to get your allocation under 30,000 American, to get full rewards maybe you want to move your cosmos off of crypto earn move it into the DeFi wallet where you can get up to 15 percent on your cosmos um so you will be getting more on your cosmos and you will be uh basically bringing yourself back into the tier one rewards by knocking your total value locked in crypto earn back under thirty thousand. So the only thing I would suggest is that um, if you do have more than 30,000 staked to really take a good look at your staking portfolio and consider other options as to where you can stake these coins to make sure that you are making the most of those tier one rewards on crypto.com. And guys, last but not least, uh, learning lesson, these rates are always subject to change, okay? So nowhere in the crypto earn um, contract like nowhere on their website do they ever promise or guarantee rates these rates are always up for revision but again you do need to and i mean this is something that people have talked about on the channel is over time is, is this reward structure sustainable like can crypto.com continue to provide such such phenomenal staking rewards for their crow can they continue to reward to reward such a juicy per annum reward on staking your stable coins on your ethereum and guys the simple answer is nobody knows nobody knows i don't know you don't know all we know is what the rates are right now and again this is why you need to enjoy them while they are around and this is the benefit of being early is that because we are early to the crypto.com ecosystem we have been able to take advantage of these increased rewards on crypto earn okay i'm obviously sad to see a 12 percent apy on my stable coins go but i will still take that 10 percent gladly and i am happy that i claimed that 12 percent while it lasted right so guys just remember that these rates are 
always subject to change. Now, given the changes with this platform, will I be moving anything off of Crypto Earn? Personally, I will not be because I am still fully qualified for Tier 1 quota rewards. However, if they do continue slashing these rewards in the future, then it is something we will have to discuss. And in that case, I potentially may be moving my, my assets to another platform for my crypto stake. However, guys, when it comes to the crypto.com ecosystem as a whole, once again, it just comes back to this whole thing of being early to actually reap these benefits while we still can, okay? And for those of you who have enjoyed the crypto earn rewards um, before this change, congratulations to you. I know you are upset with the changes just as I am, okay? Um, but again, the huge silver lining here and I think the biggest takeaway is that this has absolutely no implication on the crypto visa. Everything I have said about the crypto visa as being honestly like my favorite um, investment in the crypto space as a whole, um, that remains unchanged. All these calculations here, all these crazy results that we got through math, these remain the same, okay? Nothing has changed here. This is specifically regarding the crypto earn section. So with that said, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about these crypto earn changes. Are you moving your money off of crypto earn? Um, how do you feel about these changes? How do you think they could fix them? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on that. So please do let me know. But we do have one more piece of news to get into regarding crypto.com before we actually get into the technical analysis. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into that. So those of you who have been with the channel for a while or just with the crypto.com ecosystem know that they were hacked for about $35 million worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum in late January. And since then, they did actually uh, respond by A, refunding everyone who was um, affected by the hack, but B, also opening up a new account protection program, okay? And they started this program. They rolled it out last month in Australia first as of February 1st, 2022. And now, um, as of what day did they announce this here? March 3rd, 2022. Um, they actually did announce that they have rolled it out in Singapore, okay? So it is now being rolled out live in Singapore. And um, we're just going to quickly uh, review what is um, the APP, the Account Protection Program. So basically, um, relevant users will be able to receive relief for unauthorized transactions. It protects users in cases where a third party gains unauthorized access to their account and withdraws funds. Um, and for people who meet the terms and conditions, the program will restore up to USD $250,000. And the events covered by the account protection program include unauthorized withdrawals of digital assets from a crypto wallet and unauthorized withdrawals of fiat currencies from a fiat wallet. However, to be eligible for the account protection program, you must have all security measures in place first to actually ensure that you yourself are doing everything you can to prevent a hack. And that includes enabling multi-factor authentication, setting up an anti-phishing code, enabling a 24-hour withdrawal lock for new, uh, newly uh, whitelisted addresses, and do not jailbreak your device as you will not be eligible, okay? And then basically what you can do is you uh, you must file a, pro a police report first and then make a claim with crypto.com and um, they will reimburse you for up to 250000 American worth of stolen funds. So um, again, I mean, this is a little bit more of a, a positive piece of news as we do see that crypto.com is just trying to roll out this account protection program in as many uh, countries as they can, trying to get more people comfortable with the crypto space and with the security of their money on this platform. And that has really been crypto.com's goal since the beginning, okay? So I do like this move um, to actually start rolling out this account protection program. And I am really looking forward to it making its way um, into Canada and into the States. And I do think that once it does come into North America, we will see uh, more volume flood into crypto.com. I know myself personally, I am actually waiting for this account protection program before I actually um, do go and go ahead and add more funds to my crypto earn allocation in the crypto.com app, just because I would feel much safer with this uh, protection guarantee as I think many others do as well. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on this when it does begin to roll out in North America. And with that said, let's just get into the technical analysis.
Now, as of the time of recording this video, we have Crow sitting at a crucial level at that 40 cent level, okay? And the reason this is such an important level is, as you can see, it is basically perfectly aligned with our uptrending channel that Crow has been respecting since early October. And it is also aligned with this very strong level of support. You can see how 40 cents has acted as a very strong level of support in the past. And we are once again coming here to retest it, okay? So first, I'm going to give you what we're looking for to the downside. And to the downside, if we do see Crow uh, break below 40 cents and close a candle below it, then I would definitely say we are at least coming back down to this 37.5 cent area, which is also aligned with our 200 moving average. And if we do break below that 200 moving average, we could absolutely be coming back down to this 35 cent level, okay? And if we do see this move to the downside, um, it would be slightly concerning for the short term as it would mean that we have actually finally broken this upper trend line that we have really been respecting um, since early October. So if we do see a bit of a breakdown on Crow, it would definitely be bearish for the short to medium term, but create some interesting buying opportunities for the long run. And then as for the upside here, what we would really be looking for ideally is just a clean bounce off of this line of support. Um, and then we would see us going back up here to retest this 44 cent level of resistance. OK, then you can see that right here at about 43.8 cents, we have our 50 moving average and then 44 cents is a very strong level of resistance for Crow. So I would not be playing the breakout above the 50 moving average. I would be looking for a full confirmed breakout above 44 cents. And if we do close a candle above that 44 cent level, then we could absolutely see 48 cents back on the table. Now, given the current volatility in the market, um, I honestly don't know which, I mean, nobody knows which way this is going to go. All we can know from this is the key levels that we are looking for. Okay. So if we break below that 40 cents, we are most likely seeing 35 cents back on the table. And if we are able to break above 44 cents, we are most likely going to see a retest of 48 cents. And uh, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's content and I uh, will be back with more soon. Stay tuned for that. Peace out.